tell me it ain't too fucking bright. You know what I ought to do? I'll take this fucking pipe and shove up your ass. It just comes up. Kill it. There's a hole Kill in the pipe. Let me see your papers for the pipe. I was busted by one when I was 16 years old. I just turned 16 years old. And it was for attempted murder, weapon charges, and or cocktail bombs, and kidnapping, unlawful, something like that. It was a long time ago. And what happened was that I only did three days in jail. I came out on that and stuff. But that was the first time he busted me. Two weeks later, he caught me again, walking down Southern Boulevard, and I had a hatchet on me. But then he just, he just took the hatchet away from me. He just said, listen, I busted you last week and shit. So I ain't busting you again. He just broke the hatchet and half and gave it back to me. That's why, you know, I don't really have no beef against him. Because at that time, we did do that attempted murder thing. We did take a shot at the dude and stuff and everything. But, you know, like, it's his job. You know, that's what his job is paying him for. So if he has to do it, he has to do it. I don't really have no beef on him. It really ain't none of my business, but I'll say it anyway because this is how I feel. Now, a long time ago, it wasn't that long, but he, he arrested three savage skulls. You know, that's like our brother could, and uh, one of those savage skulls was innocent on a rape charge. And still, he went ahead and he pressed the charges on him, and the man's doing time now. Now, I feel, man, like, this is like this. He does have to do his job, and I don't blame him for doing his job. But when you're going to take an innocent man off the street and put him behind bars, there's something wrong there. We don't really know what happened with that case, so we shouldn't even specify on it or anything like that. We shouldn't even speak on it. Cause that's between the savage skulls and him. That ain't even between us and them, him and shit. Cause we don't know what happened. You only going by what the family of that poor person said. That's all you really going by. So you can't really speak on it. Blackie was a very nasty individual. I'm not that sure that he's not still nasty if he wanted to be. Comanche is a guy that straightened his act out quite a bit. It's a big change from what he used to be doing. There were uh, rumors that a guy like Comanche would receive some gasoline and torture building, but those are only rumors, you know, nobody would ever prove anything like that. And Blackie's been accused of everything from uh, burglary, rape, homicide. A couple of them stuck, right? Yeah. Like, I got busted originally for homicide, and... It was broken down to an assault because nobody knew who did the original. Yeah, there were too many people involved. They right. couldn't pin it all on you as a homicide, so they pinned it on you for an assault, right? And right. what did you do for All right, you were charged with homicide. You were convicted of assault. How much time did you do? Three years, exactly. Now, you figure it out. You, if, no. for the sake of argument, you did kill somebody, you think that's fair? Three years for murder? No, not really. Before I would, but not now. Yeah, because I think all these people are getting the idea that a bunch of quiet boys. I mean, you straighten out your act now. But the stuff you used to do in the past, man. tell you that the nomads and the skulls are the best clubs and the strongest clubs out let me tell you because i knew i knew the i knew the black space i knew people that went in the black space i knew people that was in the black pearls i knew the saigon as a matter of fact my family by themselves my brothers and sisters we fought the whole saigon gang the whole gang the whole gang we, huh? hey we all got busted up but they did too you know, we busted on, hey boy, I was taking bleach bottles and busting their heads open and everything, anything that we saw, garbage can. No, you know, you know, yo, yo, no, listen, Joe, 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 you know that truck, that truck that had the half a gallon bleach bottles? 
the truck that comes around with the um, half a gallon bleach bottles, you know the um, truck that come out in the glass bottles, they have that little thing where you put your finger through to carry them, them half a gallon, them gallon bleach bottles. That's my mother used to buy them. Get the fuck out of here. They have the right to ask me who I am, you dig it? And is I come in peace and shit, you dig it? Because I do the same thing. That's the right, man. They have that right, bro. I don't blame them for stopping me, bro. But like, hey, if I'm not doing nothing, you know, like, uh, just don't stop me and just jump on me and kick my ass, man. That's crazy. Bro. Our conquered enemies. Those are our conquered enemies right there. What's well, explain which ones they are, what the names are. Could you get the Sure. Right. I'm just explaining to them about our enemies, compadre. Cool? Past tense enemies, bro. Past tense enemies, what happened from the past. Um, bachelors, encounters, bump, enchanters, bro. Let's roll jabbers, Latin eagles. We go, man, we rumble, we fight. Whatever we do, our boys, they, you know, get hurt, whatever, we pick them up and we keep going, that's it. When we get home, man, whatever colors we got or whatever, you know, we just take them, we throw them up on the pole. And see which one of their members is bad enough to climb up there to try to get them. We went to jail for nothing, we didn't do nothing to the dude. Oh, yeah, Yeah, that man. Time, we went, we got, got, we got five of my brothers bro. innocently yeah. got it's arrested for go, something bro. they did not know. Uh, you know they did not do. What was it? What was it? What was it? This dude, you know, he comes in, we let him hang out, we treat him nice, we let him screw his old lady in TV. I mean, yeah. excuse me, let him screw his old lady up there, yes, you know, in a room, you know. He had, had a TV up there too. Yeah. Motherfucker bust out his old lady, right? And then he gonna turn around and steal a motorcycle, he gonna steal a bike from us, man. And then, and then, and then when we go down there to straighten out the shit, what will happen? The dude gonna turn around and say, we robbed him of a t-shirt and wallet. Five of my brothers went to jail for bullshit, man. We wouldn't even, we shouldn't have even been there. The cops said, yeah, we're gonna hear your side of the story too. They heard his side of the story. The dude said we beat the hell out of him with chains, pipes, and all this shit. And then the dude went to the hospital, didn't even have a scratch on him, man. That's what gets me mad. Went to jail for nothing. Then we went to court, we had a hearing, man. The judge says, well, all your bruises and scars and all this, yo, where's the bruises on your body? Dude didn't, couldn't say nothing, he's tongue tied. Then he said, case dismissed. Three of my brothers but were out there yeah, fighting to court the case. But that. this is whack a dack, man. I, I, I hope they, I pray to Holly Hill and they beat this case. This is whack. But the dude that stole from us should have right? been in the, he was the one that should have got arrested, not us. That's right, man. That's right. How much time you got? What? How much time? They put us in jail five days, man. Five, five days. days. Go to court. 